Hi guys, Phil from statisticsmentor.com. So you'd like to run the child test in SPSS? Great, well you've come to the right place. But it's one of the more unusual requests I have because if you're wanting to use a child test it usually means that you're studying econometrics in which case you're better off using one of the packages more suitable to econometrics such as Stata, eViews or even R. SPSS is not exactly a great package for doing econometrics. But let me show you how to do the chow test anyway. First of all, why would you want to do the chow test in case you're watching the wrong video? You want to do a chow test if, in layman's terms, you want to see whether a regression model is a pr the same regression model is appropriate to explain the relationship between the dependent variable and the set of explanatory variables between two groups. Those two groups could be some very qualitative things. For example, gender. Is the, in that example, is the relationship between earnings and tenure, the time spent in a company, the same for males and females? Or it could be something to do with time-related issues, such as is the relationship between X and Ys the same pre-war, post-war, or pre-policy, post-government policy, and so on. Note the difference between the child test and the t-test for comparing the means between two groups. If you simply want to compare that the dependent variable is whether they're the same, the mean value of the dependent variable is the same between two groups, that's just the normal t-test. We're not doing a t-test here because we're trying to see whether a, a regression model explaining the y from the set of x's is the same for two groups. Okay, now then moving on, if you still want to do this, since it's a test we need to state the null and the alternative. The null hypothesis is, I'll do it in layman's terms first, is that the relationship between the dependent variable and the independent variables, or the explanatory variables, are the same between the two groups. Another way of saying that is to say that the coefficients of the regression model is the same across both groups. A more technical way of saying that is that the intercepts and the partial slope parameters are the same between the two groups. And yet another way of saying that, even more esoteric, is to say that there is no structural change. The alternative hypothesis is there is structural change. So let's state it. Null hypothesis, no structural change, or model is the same for both groups, in this case males and females, versus the alternative that is a structural change. In my example here, I'm going to regress earnings, which is going to be my dependent variable, on tenure, the time spent in a company. I want to see the relationship between earnings and tenure is the same for males and for females. So I want to do a child test. Second step after the stating the null and alternative is compute the test statistic. It's an F statistic. Now SPSS doesn't uh, spit out the F value for you for the child test, so you're going to have to do it by hand. And here's the formula. We need to run, the procedure is we have to run three regressions. One, the entire data, so ignoring that there's a difference, ignoring the groups, and that which, and then we get from that the regression re, uh, residual sum of squares. Uh, typically, you see in books they put p, subscript p, which means pooled, because you pooled the data across both groups. In other words, you use all the data. That's regression one regression, and then you have to run two more regressions, and those two regressions are running it on subsets. You run the same regression model but on the subset. So one for group one, one for group two. So here I have to run one for the male group, one for the female group, and record the residual sum of squares for those groups, add them together. N stands for the number of observations and P stands for the number of parameters in your model, and the mean part of the model. Let's demonstrate this now in SPSS. So let's run the, let's obtain first the uh, RSS, residual sum of squares for the whole lot of the data. So I'm simply going to regress earnings on tenure. Go to analyze, regression, linear, you put the earnings in the dependent box, tenure in the independent box and just click OK. 
Right then what you've got to head down is to the ANOVA table. A look for the sum of squares and the residual sum of squares. That's the figure. Okay, we have to record that. Okay, I've recorded that. Now I go back and I'm now going to have to run two more regressions. Two more regressions. One for each subset. Well, to do that, go to data, go to split file, and then you want to say organize output by groups, or you could do compare groups, it's fine. Click on the uh, dummy variable female, which splits the group into male and females. OK. And then rerun the regression. Analyze, regression, linear. OK. Right. So we're going to have two lots of regressions now, one for each group. So first of all, dummy variable female. Female, just, just ignore that. That's just a label to say female dummy. Right, we're looking at the male group. Male group, RSS is there, 